Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. So they are in the process of sending troops in Ukraine. Who's they? Uh, they are the lovers of peace, democracy, freedom and justice. And that is the West. The West being uh, some interests hiding behind Al Capone and through Al Capone moving all these weasels in the West that are caught by their held by the little dingy lingy and they do whatever the interests behind United States might they hide. So what do we have here? We have a um, former Ukrainian ambassador to uh, Great Britain and this guy uh, says that um, Great Britain could send uh, military, send its military into Ukraine if if things uh, get uh, develop in a certain way. Well, that means what? That means uh, if they lose, I'm talking about NATO, these guys lose in Ukraine, which they are. So what does it tell you? That this is the last drop, the last drop. Everything else was fulfilled. Remember, the Ukrainians received everything but nuclear weapons and troops. Nuclear weapons is not going to be the case, I guarantee you that, but troops they are over there, you know, uh, conducting um, um, covered, uh, covered up operations and uh, obviously training the Ukrainian troops, just training them. So we have here an article coming from um, Ukrainska Pravda discussing this latest development that doesn't come as a surprise. Why? Because if you look at um, how things developed in Ukraine and how the Western weasels escalated the whole uh, delivery of weapons, how they started first with bullets or helmets, then bullets, then the juveniles, juveniles, and then they, they started with howitzers, and then they went to armored vehicles, and they had went to tanks, then they went to short uh, range missile systems, defense, and then mid, you know, mid range, and then long range, uh, and now tanks, and I said, as I said, and airplanes, what's missing? What's missing? So they, it was a, as I used to call it, my um, mountain slope method or uh, theory, which they start, they start slowly and they escalate. They didn't start with the airplanes in the first week of whatever they do in Ukraine. They start slowly. Why? The population, you know, these baboons, ooh, uh, so they're not uh, awakened. They're just ooh, like zombies over there. You don't have to wake them up. So you don't want to make loud noises you make. And slowly you get the point and they say, how in the hell did I get to send troops in Ukraine now? Well, because you didn't say anything when they sent helmets, the first one. And the same with the Russians. If I would have been the Russians in the Russians position, I would have uh, told them what the consequences would be if they sent anything to Ukraine, anything. I would say, if this is what I'm going to do, there's not a threat. This is the reaction. Like, I'm hungry. I'm telling you I'm going to go and eat. Uh, something like this. I'm not threatening you. This is what I'm going to do. I have to do this you know, to protect myself. If you do this, this is going to be the reaction. Just so you know, you make the choice. You don't have to intervene. If you intervene, then we are at war. Being at war, I would go to the maximum. I would say, you know what? You do this, I will fuck you up. I guarantee you the West would have been, whoa, 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 whoa. he's bluffing, he's bluffing. And then uh, everything would have been finished in the first, uh, I don't know, week or two, and we wouldn't have gone through two years of destruction. Would be only one incident in which the Russians showed their willingness and determination, right? And they would say, this, this is it, pick a plane, a location somewhere in Ukraine where they have uh, some fields, drop something over there, don't destroy anybody and say the next one is going to be on Hiroshima or Nagasaki. And if you don't surrender, the next one is going to be uh, Yokohama and then Tokyo, which are uh, right close and so on, like the Americans did. So, so they, they shortened the war. But no, they didn't. And you have all this. Okay, well, you're going to have troops legally deployed over there. Let me show you. Here, this is the article coming from Ukrainska Pravda. Saturday, December 16th, 2023. UK could send troops to Ukraine if war develops in catastrophic way. Former Ukrainian ambassador to UK. Direct experience 
learned from many wars the uh, United States of America and its NATO weasels waged against smaller targets and smaller enemies that they could just smack around, not Russia. The, Russia is too big to, to, wait, to beat. But hey, some profiteers are making a lot of money, so they are, it's a win-win for them. And if Russia collapses, okay. If Russia doesn't collapse, uh, our donors have their money back tenfold. So what's going on here? This is the way uh, these guys worked with when they were about to send something. Whenever this at each and every time they wanted to up, you know, the mountain slope to get something more. Then let's say from the um, juveniles, 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 they tried to up it to howizers. They started like this. Well, do you think that uh, Ukraine could uh, benefit of something like this? And then immediately someone would say, no, 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 we wouldn't. There would be an escalation. So the first time they mentioned something, they already made a decision. Decision was made in each and every example and situation. And that's how they started. I watched this, not only this war. I, I watched that in Yugoslavia. I watched that in uh, Desert Storm, in Libya, in uh, Afghanistan, as I said, uh, Iraq and Syria, little by little. The decision has been already made. Troops will be sent over there. They're just going to wait for a reason big enough so they can get these baboons uh, say, yeah, yeah, man, we should do this. Yeah, 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 man, yeah. That's what they're going to do. So they start with the first, you're going to have a retired or retarded guy who was a former, who's going to say, well, why? Because he has no authority. So it's going to be like a conversation, but he's an expert. So they build credibility by point, putting in front of you an idiot like this, who was involved in something. So you say, well, he's a credible guy. He has authority. He's a legit guy. He was the ambassador or a general or NATO, something like this, who's a former. And after the former, he's going to say, well, why do you think we should do this? And then immediately going to have an official, well, we have no, not determined that. It's too early to pop, pop, pop. Like, no, no, we're not going to do that. No, no, take it easy. But the conversation is right there in the open and then there's going to be another one talking they discuss and then it's going to be an official no and then from no we will not stand it's going to turn into i don't think it's necessary at this point so that means it could be in the future so they just little by little they get and say yeah that we have to i mean civilians are dying over there the russians are committing war crimes we have to defend them and then you're going to say oh we got to do that i mean who would be against that if you're against that you're morally deficient this how this is the way they portray it for you i have no doubt let's put 99 percent certain that there are troops in ukraine right now american troops and that, that that's been revealed by uh those leaks pentagon leaks and not only we i mean it's a war they do this when they say we're gonna send some uh, how they call them, uh, trainers over there. Do you think the trainers are just sticking their hands in the ass with no weapons and just, you go over there, you do this and you do... Why would you need, let's say, an American trainer in a, in a country that was waging war or was at war two years in a modern war that the United States has no clue? I mean, the most experienced countries on this planet right now on modern warfare is Russia and Ukraine. These are the active guys, unless you say, well, we are involved too. And then, yeah, you're experienced too, but you can't say it. Therefore, these guys know the best. So these guys should train everybody else on the planet. Not Canadians should come. We're going to train the Ukrainians or, or Lithuania. Lithuanian uh, officers train, uh, train in what? Jerking off with a left hand or something? What the hell? But anyway, so yeah, I think this is going to happen. This is the, the second, actually, the second they could if catastrophic that means what losing so if ukraine not not ukraine nato cannot win the under the current circumstances against russia and the russians are going to adva advance it's catastrophic for them right then they will intervene fully and the russians will say we're going to uh, use everything at our disposal i'm guessing because you can't really win against nato i mean let's put it this way nato has more resources in almost everything you know so i don't think that, that uh, you know something that nato lacks balls uh determination roughness this is what these guys not all of them but in general this is a pussified society i'm not saying russia is not turning into one but these guys are way ahead so it's hard to get the pussies here to go and fight 
even for no they're gonna lose that fight for what for freedom and democracy they did that in iraq another rocket another example the exact way they did should we go should we not go should we have do with this how are we gonna do it and then they won against whom there was a just war right based on what on lies that could be considered a war crime couldn't be so this is the guy Vadim Pristaiko, the former Ukrainian ambassador to UK, has claimed that the UK is one of the countries, one of the countries, this is going to be more, obviously, that in the event of a quote-unquote catastrophic development of the war, that means we're losing, in Ukraine could send its armed forces there. The conversation is right there. He said, if you don't help Ukraine now, this guy said, sooner or later your children will fight with Russia. So this is, uh, remember, uh, Pristaiko comment on one of the arguments that Ukraine uses to justify the need for help. No, that's a, uh, I think it's a false statement, pretense and a narrative because I can use the same one. Remember, every time you do this, you have to bring arguments. It's like, for instance, someone says, uh, Gigi, you cannot go outside because they're going to be a meteor hitting you or a falling airplane. You say, well, what are the odds? They don't discuss about the odds. They just give you that. And they say, it could be a plane falling on you. Could be a drive-by shooting at you. It could be a meteor falling on you. Maybe it's going to be an earthquake and it's going to split open the, the earth and you're going to fall down. It could be a bad guy trying to rape you or, I don't know, uh, rob you. It could, maybe you go outside and you get cancer from the sunlight. They can give you all these idiotic reasons that could happen. That could happen. They, they lump them together with no credibility, each of them. I mean, the probability that this will happen would be like this small. But they mention them and by number, they think they persuade the idiots. And they do because the idiots are baboons. Drink, eat, watch TV and sleep. That's all they need. And these guys just tell them that you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Here, I'm going to give you some... Um, how do you call them uh, services here take some sugar yeah that's the governmental help so yeah this is the way these guys are doing and sooner or later children will fight with russia i don't think so russia knows he's gonna lose against nato why would they do it what what president zelensky is saying now i'm quoting is that if we run out of forces soldiers or weapons that you don't supply us with you will have to make a decision to help our armed forces why should they be involved in your garbage? Oh, because you triggered it? Or maybe you were part of it? No, no, that's, that's a lie. And some countries are approaching this decision, he says. The UK is one of them. If it is first on this list. So, UK, you're the first one. Get ready. Go and fight for Ukraine, for Zelensky, for Zelensky Stein. The former ambassador explained that Western states would never admit preparations for a scenario involving, as he put it, the use of their expeditionary forces on Ukrainian territories. They are over there, but not on a big number. The question under what conditions this scenario could occur, Pristaiko answered without elaborating. Vague things. The catastrophic development of the war. Continuation of the occupation. General stuff. So that means... Let's go, oh, that, that's me, what the hell. That is preemptively or general stuff. In my um, personal experience, dealing with a lot of people of different kind of, from different kind of spectrums and different kind of circumstances, I found many, many guys in charge, uh, like supervisors or directors, owners, um, a, lot of the, a lot of them, I'm talking about the bad ones that were talking in general terms, without concrete examples, or not examples, the numbers on the table. It's like, for instance, you go to a, uh, a doctor, a medical doctor, a medical, a medic, and you go over there and he says, well, I think you're uh, whatever, you have something which is uh, pre-clinical. Pre so you're not, uh, but you're at the highest end of this, you could, you know, be exposed to, and if you don't treat it, and this is in other words, if you don't treat it, or you don't take a ton of pills, that that's the that's the whole game over there, that that could could turn into cancer. When you hear cancer, oh shit. Give me the pills. How many pills I, I need pharma? Okay? So this is the way uh, uh, it's kind of like they don't they they are it's a scare tactic. You go to a mechanic and he said, Well, you got a little thing over there at uh 
whatever you got direction or something is, is is it bad Gigi well it's not bad now but that could break while you drive and you can just oh, swear get off the road and hit a tree and die or your family oh shit oh change that repair that you don't even know that's a possibility out of 3000 but you don't he scares you with that one and you're gonna invest the same thing with the medics some of them the same thing here when these guys are are, are using uh, scare tactics and talking generalities like yeah man we're gonna do this change good we're gonna fight we're gonna change it we're, gonna, we're the good people we're gonna change all this we're gonna apply that um i'm gonna give you something from the past you know they just try to create a vision an imagery based on general stuff throughism and so on not okay how do we solve this how many people do we have that's the concrete thing how it, no 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 someone will do it we're gonna win we're gonna do this we're gonna overwhelm them uh, the good will always win what the fuck i mean general stuff you find them and that's the way they create a career some of these guys by talking nicely but not saying anything one example is obama he was very as these guys say um very um articulated yeah that's true he's way more articulated than i am way more articulated than i am as you can tell right but is he saying something usually not usually not now which one you want you want a sweet talker with nothing concrete inside and backed up by anything or you want a guy who tells you the but it tells you the truth or at least it tells you it gives you the concrete the reality i'm not talking about me here and though all right <laughs> so here it is my friends get ready you're gonna fight russia um, and russia will use nuclear weapons one time and you're gonna back off and uh, all this garbage will end in a way that you're gonna be going this way russia's gonna go this way you're gonna have a clear demarcation after which if you cross it you're gonna have nuclear war and the russians mean it because they are consistent the russians you like it or not have been consistent in good or bad when they told you they're gonna smack you they smacked you when they said they're gonna give you a lady of the night they gave you a lady of the night thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just